Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back once again to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name's Mark Love, and today we're going to be showing you a 2023 Supreme Air. This is a 4051 model, and it's a bit brisk out here today, so we're going to do the outside uh, rather quickly. Um, like I say, this is a 4051. It's a full wall slide, bath and a half Supreme Air. Most of your Supreme Airs are 45 feet long. This floor plan, if you want to get a shorter one, but still have the dual uh, drive axles, you get it with this 4051. So let's go ahead and uh, look at the engine first. This is powered by a Detroit diesel. Uh, it's the DD13 505 horsepower, which has 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. Now for 2024, uh, they bumped this up to a two, uh, 525 horsepower, but the 23s are a 505. Uh, the beauty of the Super Cs, like I always point out, is you can get right in here to work on your engine. Uh, when you're doing your pre-check, you got your windshield wiper here, air filter, uh, air dryer, uh, easy to reach all of your fluids. Let's take a look on the other side here. So over here, we've got our, our power steering fluid, our coolant, our uh, oil dipstick, oil fill right here. Everything is just easy to get to. Uh, people that do maintenance themselves really appreciate that. Uh, another thing I, I want to point out, let me put this hood down. Um, number one, it is got a strut on it there, and you kind of got to help the hood down. It doesn't really fall by itself. But if you take a look at this bumper right here, this is one thing Freightliner does. It's kind of made to, to uh, give in an accident. So if you had a front end accident, number one, this is an extremely durable uh, lens there for your light. And if you take a look at how this bumper is attached right here, you can see that it's designed to pivot right there. They put a little flange right here inside the bumper, so if it hits your tire, you're not necessarily going to shred this tire. They've had uh, uh, some front-end accidents where they didn't need to replace the tire, didn't need to replace the headlight, and when you figure those are seven, eight hundred, maybe a thousand dollars each, uh, that saves you quite a bit. But again, uh, this is the um, M2 112 chassis. Now most of our other units are on the M2-106. The difference is this is a longer chassis. The M2-112 will accommodate a bigger engine and that's how we end up with the uh, 505 Detroit diesel on this one. Great looking grill with the Numar emblem up front. You see we've got a camera right here. This does have the 360 camera so point those out as we go around. Also has the collision, uh, collision mitigation, the on-guard collision mitigation system. That's part of your sensor right there. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the storage compartments. Uh, as we're walking down the side, first of all, this right here is a flag holder. There's a little bracket that puts up there. So if you want to fly your college colors, and I hope you're all rooting for Michigan uh, coming up, but uh, right there is your flag holder. And also another unique thing, this is an air ride cab. Uh, most of the companies, you know, they bolt down the cab to the house so it's one solid unit. Numar has given you a more comfortable ride by uh, providing you with an air ride uh, cab. So there's like a little baffle system here. This, this part of the cab rides a little independent from the rest of the house, a real unique feature. Okay, as we go down, let's look at a couple of these storage compartments. This first one's just a small one right here and it's all felt lined. Newmar did a good job on, in redesigning their doors, come up with a different bulb seal so they close much easier. Over in this compartment, we've got our hydraulic pump, and uh, I'll talk about that a little bit more inside, but you do have hydraulic levelers, you have two hydraulic slides, and actually hydraulic steps on this one. And then you can see our uh, Chinook uh, Oasis. This is your hydronic heater. It's gonna provide your uh, engine preheat, your furnace, your hot water. It runs off the diesel fuel tank, so you're never really going to run out of fuel. And that's a dual loop system. You also have two electric elements 
and one diesel burner in there, so it's a little bit more efficient than some of the other hydronic heating systems. Back here we have a pull-out freezer, refrigerator, whatever you want it to be. And this pulls out all the way so it'll clear the slide out when the slide is out. Not an extremely big one and this, you know, you either set it for, uh, for drinks or, you know, for your frozen food. But you also get uh, some more storage right here so you got plenty of room for sodas, beers, you know, other things as you're traveling. Like I pointed out, we do have a hydraulic step here, and this comes down pretty close to the ground. This step has a sensor, so if there is a curb right here, you're not going to run into the curb and, and crunch your step. It's going to sense that and stop right where it is, either as it's coming down or as it's going out. It, uh, it's got a sensor for both. Heavy-duty grab handle. Uh, this does have a keyless entry here, so when you come up, it's kind of nice if you don't have your keys, you can get in by putting the code in. You can also lock or unlock your compartment doors, all the doors right here without your key. You know, I, I didn't mention it, but I'm standing under the Girard awnings right now. This has the Girard rooftop awnings, and if I don't mention them now, I'll forget about them. Uh, also has the Girard window package. So with the, the Girard Novas, the rooftop awnings, it runs the whole length of the coach. They come down and articulate a little bit. So it's just a great, great spot. If it's uh, lightly snowing or maybe drizzling rain, you've, you've got a protected area here. And of course, when the sun's beating down late in the day, it's always nice to have a little bit of shade. Okay, behind this compartment, uh, we've got the pegboard here. And that's because you have your 150 gal uh, gallon water tank right behind there. And as you can see, we also have our low point drain right here for that fresh water. Some more marker lights or, or docking lights as you're hooking up. I do like to point out we have flush wall slides and you can see right here how the slide out tucks inside the side wall. You don't get the wind and the rain driving in and getting past that seal. It, it seals it very tight and uh, they find that the noise inside a motorhome can be as much from the road or the wind coming around the slides and windows as it is from the engine. So this just makes for a quieter ride all the way around. A couple more docking lights here. Uh, you notice we have eight tires in the back. These are both drive axles. Uh, I pointed out on the, on the Class A's, usually you have a different looking uh, hub on the back. It's a steerable tag. These aren't steerable, but they are both drive uh, axles and you can lock them together uh, or separate them. Uh, I'll show you that button when we get inside. Okay, here's something that sets Numar apart from a lot of the uh, companies making the Super C's. You actually have some pass-through storage here, which is rare. The, the Super C's, the M2 chassis, doesn't allow for as much pass-through storage where your Class A's generally are on a raised rail. But they do give you room right here and in the back end, uh, we'll show you. So if you've got tables or longer items, you've got a place to put them. This does have a nice pull-out tray. And you can see some of the uh, extra things that come along. These are your uh, attachments for your vacuum. You've got your uh, uh, road vac right there. Nice thing is you can use it inside or outside to clean out these compartments. Here's your glad hands if you're pulling a, you know, a trailer that's got air brakes. You get a couple of extra floor tiles in there, so if one does happen to crack, easy to replace. We also provide a couple of ceramic heaters there. You also have your controls here for your awning. So you can run this awning out from the controllers, from a remote, or you can do it inside at the uh, main panel. Okay, here's the back compartment. And again, you can see you've got some pass through there. And when I pop this back hatch, you can see what it gives you uh, compared to the other Super C's, you've got some pretty good room here. If you've got a table or, you know, fishing poles you want to leave in, you've got enough room here for some longer items, which is kind of nice. And then you also get some racks here, maybe for tools, extra oil or coolant or whatever you want to carry here. I've heard some people say they use it as a bar. I don't think I'm going to leave my liquor out here. Too many people can have access to it. Uh, and then 
again, we've got a couple cameras here. We've got one right there, one mounted on the top. Uh, those help provide the 360 uh, kind of a bird's eye view. But also, when you're hooking up your trailer, you can look straight down on this hitch, and that's real helpful. And talking to the hitch, we've got a Gen Y 30,000 pound rated tow hitch here. Now, uh, this is a two and a, two and a half inch receiver. Uh, we had the two inch reducer inside. I didn't point it out, but it's right inside the back. You got a two and five sixteenths ball and a two inch ball for towing. And one of the nice things is you can see this height is adjustable. So depending on what kind of trailer you're using, you can move that up and down to, to make sure you're towing level. We also have our uh, plug for the uh, rear camera. We have our seven way here. Then as we move around the side, take a look in this back compartment. We have another 50 amp power supply, and this you could use to power your trailers. A lot of the race, uh, uh, race car people, they'll have a stacker trailer with a whole shop in there, and they'll need power. So you've got a 50 amp power supply for you know your trailer, your friends, anybody else that needs it. And again, you can see how that kind of passes through. This is our 12.5 uh, diesel generator, and you get that on all the Supreme Airs. Now on a 45 footer, you'll have three ACs. This particular unit being 40, about 41 feet long, you actually have two air conditioners, and uh, the 12.5 generator is standard. Another thing up on the roof here, we have the four solar panels. Uh, which is a nice option, and when we get up to the battery compartment, I'll uh, point some things out up there. Again, more docking lights, uh, dual drive axles. You have a little storage area here. You might want to put in, uh, you know, your sewer hose or something like that. Come up here to the water compartment. And I just love the way Numar does these. Uh, nice stainless steel look. It's all embossed lettering here so that they don't scratch off. You do have electric dump valves. You can open and close those right here. You also have a monitor here, which is nice. You can turn your pump on. You can turn your outside lights on. You can see how full your tanks are right there. Uh, auto fill if you're going to uh, be going on a trip and you want to fill your 150 gallon water tank. You can set it for autofill or you can run off city water. You do have a whole house filter right here. A gray tank rinse and a black tank rinse. And that's a nice feature. Most motorhomes only have a black tank rinse. Uh, but sometimes, you know, that gray tank gets a little nasty in there and you want to be able to clean it out. So they've got a, a rinse for both your gray and black. And uh, that's what these valves are here when you're opening and closing them to rinse them out. Low point drains for your hot and cold water. This is your SantaCon switch. So the SantaCon is a macerator. Uh, sometimes you pull up to dump and you're not on flat ground or it's not a, an easy uh, run right to the drain. A macerator pump will actually pump uphill. Nice thing about that, it chews up the, the solid waste like a garbage disposal and helps you completely drain your black tank a little better. But you can also drain it the old style way, uh, gravity drain if you like. Over here we have our outside shower. We do have a power uh, hose rewind right here. So it's manual out and power back in. over to this next compartment you can see we've got our 50 amp power cord and this is actually 50 feet long which is longer than most of them are going to give you again it is a power or a manual out and a power rewind back in i like the fact they move that button right here on the door so it makes it a lot easier to to get that in when it's time okay here's one of the uh the best changes they made in 2023 or additions, now there's an option for the lithium ion batteries, uh, or the lithium batteries, excuse me. This is the Lithionics, they're 320 amp hours each, so we've got a total of 640 amp hours, plus you can add a third one here, 960 amp hours, and you get dual 3000 watt inverters. 
the beauty of that is you can run your uh, your front air conditioner off one of these inverters just off your battery power. So if you're in a place where you, you don't have somewhere to plug in and uh, maybe you don't want to run your generator, you can run it all off your batteries. There's also uh, this lithium controller here. There's a little safety system built in. When these batteries get down to 10%, they're gonna shut themselves off and save that last 10%. So if you come back from a hike or somewhere that you forgot to turn your batteries off or left something running and find you that your coach is shut down, there's a reset button on the back. You hit that, it'll power up those batteries and that gives you enough power to start your generator and then you can charge your batteries from there. Or you could start the engine and uh, charge them off the alternator but again, you've got a, a uh, capacity for 960 amp hours. And with the four 100 watt solar panels on the roof, uh, you shouldn't be running out of power at all. Okay, this is just a box for our chassis batteries. Nothing too exciting there. I'm not gonna open that up. You've got three 12 volt chassis batteries in there. And then uh, here's one of the things about the M2112. It's only got a single 100 gallon fuel tank that you fill from right here, where the, uh, the 106, you can fill it from either side, but you have just a one fuel tank right there. You do have access to your, uh, to your air compressor. Uh, we've got our uh, Oasis fluid here, and we've got six gallons of depth fluid. And then over here, we have our fuel filter, you can see. You also have a hot water outlet right here. So, you know, if you're carrying a hose with you, you can take that and clean off the windshield. You get so many bugs driving around. It's nice to be able to clean it on the road where you don't have to pull into a, a truck wash or a gas station to do that. Another one of our side view cameras mounted right here. Like say there's six cameras all the way around. Okay, the M2s make it really easy to get in. They've got a couple of heavy duty grab handles, easy for somebody shorter like myself to step up. And while I'm right here, I'm gonna point out a couple of things about this seat. Not only is this an air ride cab, which makes for a smoother ride, but we have an air ride seat also. And then, uh, we do have lumbar support right here, which is air actuated. And as you can see, it's also heated seats. Then right down here below it is our uh, chassis master shutoff. Okay. Well, let's uh, go take a look inside at the floor plan. Get these shut up. go. I think I did point out the window awnings. You've got three window awnings on this uh, uh, along with your two roof mount awnings. Why don't you go in and step to the back and I wanted to leave the slide in to kind of give you an idea what it's like when you travel. There is, ah, there we go, much warmer in here. There is one kind of a, a pinch point. It's, it's not too bad. I don't have any trouble getting through here, but it's designed this way. Uh, there are different, you know, booths you could get in here. They don't all have to have the table. Uh, but while we're right here, I just wanted to point out a couple of things as you come in the door. First of all, there is a step cover and uh, there it is right there. This is a great feature. If you're traveling with, you know, younger kids or maybe you've got pets, you don't want them to fall down into that uh, step well when you're traveling. So this is, you know, built to be stood on and, you know, it's not gonna, not gonna drop down on you if, unless you get up over 500 pounds, I assume. But just a nice feature anytime you're on the road, you might wanna consider putting that up if you've got passengers back here at all. So this is our main control panel. First off, we do have a uh, SKM 100 satellite. This is for DISH TV. We also have our Wi-Fi router right here. And uh, this is a 4K uh, uh, Wi-Fi Everest, I believe this one is. Okay, up here, this is 
Also, our uh, a controller for our slides or for our awnings, roof mount awnings. This is our Weingard uh, uh, dish satellite. This right here is our solar controller, and there's really not a lot you need to do with that. It will tell you, you know, what uh, what charge your battery's at and how much it's charging. And even on cloudy days like this, we are getting, you know, some charge from our solar panels. Okay, we have uh, driver passenger side window awnings here. That turns on and off our Wi-Fi router, uh, entry lock, compartment door lock, step cover. Down here we have our exterior security lights. We have a driver passenger side patio light. This one right here is kind of neat. <laughs> it's a LED lights that are under the coach. So it gives it a really cool looking ground effect at night. These are our slide out controls. And I'm going to go ahead and run these out right now. While we're talking. Another thing while we're here, maybe get a shot of this, Jody. We don't talk about it much, but the HWH Master Reset. We have these two slide outs that I'm opening up right now are hydraulic. We have hydraulic leveling jacks and a hydraulic step. And if you should ever have a problem with one of them, simply hold this down for five seconds and it does a full reset. Okay, are we all the way down? Let me get my main slide all the way down. These are really nice because they go out, they drop down, you have tile in the slide outs, and there's floor heat in here. They even heat the area in the slide out. Just a really nice feature. Okay, uh, let's start up here at the cab, I guess, while we're in here. First of all, we do have a, a nice skylight and there's a button right here to run that up and down. You might want to close it up when you're getting ready to go to bed. Okay, nice, nice, comfortable seats. These are Villa, I believe, and uh, Numar actually put a, a different steering wheel on it. This isn't the Freightliner steering wheel. Gives it a really nice look. Uh, Dash is pretty simple, very, very common to the M2. You have your cruise controls over on this side. Uh, you do have your, your uh, marker lights and your running lights. Over here, we've got our, uh, these are our marker intermittents. Let's say a, a trucker goes by you, you wanna let them know you're clear. You can flash your lights at them by hitting that right there. This shutdown override, uh, kind of an important feature. If for some reason, let's say it shuts itself down, goes into limp mode, and you're in a bad spot, maybe on the highway, and you've got to get moved, you can actually override that shutdown, start the engine, and get yourself to a safe parking spot. Now, you might be in limp mode. It might only go 5 or 10 miles an hour, but it won't leave you stranded out there in the, in the middle of the highway. And then we also have our auto... Um, automatic traction control, you can override that too. Okay, this has got a 4000 Allison transmission. This is your control panel right here, six speed transmission. Got a couple of window uh, buttons here, mirror heat. These are locks uh, for our storage compartments. It's our parking brake. This is your uh, air brake for your trailer. So if you are pulling uh, a trailer with air brakes, right here is where you would. Uh, push to disconnect those. Two-speed engine brake with this, high and low. And then light test. This basically just goes through and kind of tests all of your lights outside. You can check that everything's on, everything's working the way it should be. Uh, let's see. Let me get my collision mitigation system on here. That's what this box is. Now you can, it's the on guard system. It does have uh, active braking, but it's not going to completely stop you. If it senses traffic uh, that you're coming up on, it'll start to slow you down, uh, but you know, hopefully it'll wake you up enough that you'll stop yourself before you get to that accident. Uh, dash radio, and uh, let me go through this camera system I was talking about. So you have plenty of views. Let's start out right here. Uh, in our back view, you can set it for kind of a wide angle lens there. 
This is sort of a normal view. Maybe you want to keep an eye on your trailer. You're hauling a couple of Harleys back there or something. You don't want them to be bouncing around too much. Or this view looks right down on that hitch. And this makes it nice for backing up to your trailer. If you're by yourself, it's really easy to get lined up. Okay, over here we also can look out either side, right, left, forward, backward. Uh, we actually have a button here where we can put all four of them on there and keep an eye on them as we're going down the road. And then this is the bird's eye view. So it uses all six cameras, kind of superimposes this view so you can see what's around you. And this also uh, is your radio, has Apple CarPlay, has uh, navigation in it. Once you get into your navigation, uh, you, you've actually got parameters you can set here. Uh, let me see. Uh, new route, uh, maybe you don't like to take the, the highways, you wanna stay on the uh, two lane roads, you can set that in. You also can put in the height of your coach and so forth, so uh, it'll let you know which roads aren't safe to go down on. This also comes with Apple CarPlay this year. Uh, you can Bluetooth in your phone if you wanna use that for navigation and so forth. Really a nice setup. Then over here, like I said, we had our engine brake. Uh, we've got our, our uh, dual drive axles, and you can also, we've got one for the, uh, uh, for the lock for your uh, differential, and then these are your drive axles if you want to disable one of them. We also have a button here. This is going to lower your rear airbags. Uh, that's really important when you're hooking up a trailer. Down here on the bottom, you can force a regen, but you really don't need to do that. Those are more for the uh, commercial truckers who might be running these for several days or weeks at a time without shutting them off. They're idling at a truck stop. Sometimes you want to force the regen. Again, that's your axle uh, lock, your house and chassis battery boost. So if one of them's low, you can start it by boosting it to the other one. Generator, uh, courtesy lights here. These are your outside docking lights, your cab ceiling lights. And then again, you've got that overhead uh, window up there and that's the shade for it. So really a basic um, dash, but very comfortable, very uh, designed very ergonomically uh, for guys like me. I, I could drive in this for a long time without getting too fatigued. Uh, let's take a look overhead here. Now, in this middle compartment, we've got our main silver leaf panel, and that's one of the nice things when you jump up to a Supreme Air, is you do get the silver leaf. You can, you know, monitor your, your AC power. As you can see, I've got both my inverters on right now, uh, your DC power. Uh, let's see, get into, there's our generator. Uh, we can do our auto gen start to turn on as the batteries get low. You could have it turn on maybe when the temperature gets too hot and you've left your dog inside, you want the AC to kick on when it hits 75, do that right there. Uh, this monitors your tanks, water pump on and off. Again, there's our climate control on this Oasis. You can see I've got my diesel burner off right now, but I've got both electric elements enabled. Um, that's you know heating the floor, it's providing the, the coach heat right now. Uh, as we come down, you can get into your block heater, your batteries. This is a nice little, uh, nice little difference that you get with the lithium ions. If you notice, it gives me my percentage. We're at 13.1 volts right now. I have 640 total amp hours, and uh, currently I still have 554 amp hours remaining. That's 87% uh, right there. So once you, uh, you know, get this, you'll want to kind of play with this, figure it out. Your floor heat's right here. I've got this set on five. It goes up to 10. And what it is, it's a, it's a timer. Every one of these little blocks is two minutes. So if I had it set on one, the floor heat would come on for two minutes and be off for 18 minutes. At five, the floor heat's gonna be on for 10 minutes and off for 10 minutes. And you can adjust these by zone, the mid, the front, the rear, whatever you like. You also have access to all your lights over here, uh, your, your 
shades, you've got a few places you can control that. Um, and then your TV up and down, I'll show you that when we get in the back. Over on this side here, this is a module. You can put in a universal toll module. So any toll road in the country when you go down, once you've uh, logged or, or put your credit card information in, it automatically charges to that credit card. Mark, do you have a quick question if you've got a second? I sure do. Okay, the question is, what is the wheelbase? On the wheelbase on this one is 200 and, I want to say it's either 282 or 292. And uh, if, if you make a comment or send me an email, I'll double check on that and let you know. There are three, 23 on the 45 footers, I believe. So these are a little shorter. And that's actually a really good question. One of the reasons Numar built this is not everybody wants a 45 foot coach. Maybe you have a storage area where it won't fit in, but you still want the 30,000 pound towing. You want the, the twin drive axles in the back. You want the setup of the Supreme Air. I mean, they're, they're kind of fashioned after the Essex as far as the interior, but you don't want a 45 footer. That's why they designed this coach. It's really ideal for two people. Okay, back to the storage. We've got a couple of storage compartments here. Another little one there. You'll always find something to go in there. Uh, you have pretty much the same setup over here on the driver's side. And as you can see, uh, we get some numbers here. Uh, these are uh, Numar support, also Freightliner support. Noogle is more or less a like a Google search for all the Numar systems. So once you're an owner, you have access to Noogle. If you want to look up your wiring schematics or your plumbing or whatever, that's all in there and you'll have access to it. Um, as long as I'm talking about that, I'll just touch a little bit on the support you get from TransWest. We have a, a technical advisor, probably one of the, the smartest guys as far as knowing all systems, old, new, every coach, every trailer, fifth wheel, pretty much. Uh, Bill Havercorn's his name. If you buy from us, you will have access to Bill. You'll get his cell phone. It's, it's just reassuring to be able to call somebody and say, am I using this right? Is this user error or do I have a problem I need to get checked out? Sometimes it's hard to tell. So we have that expert for you. Okay. Yep. Someone wants to know about the generator auto start, uh, asking about does it work in, con in conjunction with the batteries and or the solar? Yes. So uh, the question was about auto the start. auto start on the generator and kind of an overview how that works. Basically, uh, most people set them so when their battery reaches a certain level, say you get down to 12, 12.1 volts, you want it to start up automatically and charge that. You could also do it for your chassis battery, not just the house batteries. So it could be triggered to come on by either your house, your chassis battery, or the third way is by the temperature. And again, I pointed out, if you've got pets in here and you're going for you know an all day trip, you might want it to kick on if it starts getting hot and turn on that air conditioner. So you can also set that auto gen start by your uh, interior temperature. So real good question. Okay, let's move back here. Uh, as we come into the coach, this is our dinette table. We do have a leaf, a couple of folding chairs under the bed and our TV pops up right here. I'll go ahead and this is one of our uh, panels. Uh, let me see, get into systems and there we go. And I just realized I've got all my shades down so I better get that out of the way. As that TV's popping up, I'll uh, point out we do have theater seating across from it. So uh, one thing about the theater seating, uh, not only are they very comfortable, but it, it takes away your extra sleeper. You could get a fold and tumble couch in here and have an extra bed. That's why I said this coach is kind of designed for two people. Although if you do have kids or guests, there's plenty of room on the floor to put an air mattress out or something like that. But this setup, uh, you know, isn't designed for a big family. Okay, uh, over here above our theater seating, we have some more storage. These are the curtains for the front windows and your blackouts, and they just kind of snap up in there to give you privacy at night. 
over here, I'm going to, let's see, let's get into my shades and I want the day shades up. Okay. There we go. Oop. I guess I can do those all at once. So uh, again, you've got several panels through here. Uh, these are the MCD uh, electric shades. So you can raise, usually when I'm doing it, I'm raising and lowering all of them at once, unless maybe there's uh, sun beating in on the kitchen and I just want that kitchen window closed. Like I say, you've got six or eight of these uh, throughout the coach. Uh, the two main ones, one up front, one in the back, I'll show you. But you can control those slides from many places in the coach. Okay, let's move back here by the door. We've already pointed out that you do have the uh, step cover. You've got your pantry area right here. Down here, we do have our vacuum system. And if you sweep up your dirt right there, you can sweep it in, it'll suck it away. Uh, so you can bring those uh, hose attachments in from, from out in the storage compartment, use them inside, uh, or you can use them outside. You can clean out your trailer if you're hauling something. Nice little extra feature. Across from the entryways, our kitchen. Uh, let me show you a little of the storage here. Got some nice pull-out drawers here. And for people that are shorter, this is a, a really good feature. You can reach the back very easily. Underneath, we do have a dual stainless steel undermount sink. And this is a very large sink with some residential uh, fixtures here. Nice stainless steel look on the fixtures also. Underneath here, this area, we've got a little storage that you can actually tuck those covers, those sink covers or your stove covers underneath. Over here, we've got a place for your trash can, another pullout. area here for your scrubbies or dish soap or whatever you want to use. Uh, we do get a convection microwave. This is a 30 inch convection microwave here. Underneath that we've got our induction cook surface. First of all these covers do have a cutting board on them. One side is smooth, the other side's got a nice cutting board. Now with true induction any metallic pan will work on this. So basically if a magnet sticks to your pan, it'll work. That includes your cast iron. And you can always pull these out, unplug it, take it out under your awning. Maybe you're cooking fish or something with a lot of odors and you don't want to cook inside. It's nice to be able to use that outside. And again, you notice right here beside your kitchen, I've got another one of my monitors. Underneath, we get a large silverware drawer. Now, most of these you're probably going to take out or move somewhere else. You get a lot more than you need. I think we got three of these TV remotes. Uh, here's our remote for our awnings outside. Uh, you can open them, like say, three different ways. You do get a universal remote, a couple of key fobs. You do get the, uh, the touch-up paint, all four colors. And again, uh, I know we had a, we have a, uh, a uh, flagpole somewhere in here and the flagpole holders around. Oh, right there it is, all wrapped up. So you can fly your Michigan flag. <laughs> Underneath we have a dishwasher. Now this dishwasher, you actually need the generator on or to be plugged into 110. It doesn't open up and work off the inverter. Okay, we move back, we get our 19.7 cubic foot residential refrigerator. And it's actually quite cold in here right now. I've got the inverters on. So uh, you're taking the, the 12 volt power from those lithium ion batteries, you're inverting it to 110, 
and then you're running your refrigerator off the 110. And that's kind of the nice feature about those lithium ions because it tells you what percentage you're at and how many hours you have left at your current uh, energy usage rate before you have to worry about charging it. See, we've got some good storage down here. And you do get ice and water right here in the door. Okay, across from the refrigerator is our half bathroom. And uh, I'm just going to open these up. First of all, this is uh, our breakers. We've got our fuses here. So uh, you get a little uh, ledger here, it tells you what everything is. And then we've got storage throughout here that I'll just kind of open up and get out of the way. Let Jody get in there and show you what we've got. Now, you can get these with just a rear bathroom. Uh, you know, there's other floor plans. If you don't want the half bathroom, I think the half bathroom is actually perfect for a couple's coach because, you know, this is probably going to be the guy's bathroom where he cleans up and keeps his stuff. We know who gets the big one in the back, but I like having this also. When your slides are in, you have to roll over the bed to get to that back bathroom, so it's nice to have the half bathroom right here. Okay, let's step back into the bedroom. First off, let me pop this up, show you we've got a little bit of storage underneath. You can see there's our table leaf, and uh, we've got a couple of folding chairs that, that match the, uh, the upholstery out there. Those are handy because you can take them outside and use them under your awning if you want to. This is a, a king bed. It's a 72 by 80 uh, radius corner bed. You've got pedestals on each side. And uh, you do have 110 uh, plugs and an outlet. This is the, uh, the remote I was looking for. Oh, this is the sleep number bed. So we've got an air mattress here. You also have one that'll control your, your shades. Okay, while you're there, I want to lay on this bed and point out a couple of things. I don't know if you can get a shot underneath here, but we've got a panel up here. And the nice thing is I can control all of my lights here. Also, my shades. So when it's getting time for bed, I want to drop my night shades. And I can do it with the push of one button right there. Kind of a nice feature. Uh, Let's see, we've got our fans. If we want to turn on our fantastic fans, uh, we do have light controls for the entire coach. So if you want, you can shut off all of your lights. If you left one on when you went to bed, you don't want to get out. You can do that all right here. And then you do have a couple of reading lights uh, on each side, a couple of speakers back here. Just makes it convenient to you know, get yourself ready for bed without having to uh, you know, get out of bed. And I just realized I forgot to actually run this out all the way. Got a nice looking headboard there with a, a mirrored back uh, behind it. And those windows on the side, they do open. So, you know, at night, if you want to turn on one of your fantastic fans, get a little cross breeze growing, going through there, help cool it down. There we go. That's a little roomier. Now, over here across from the bed, we get our main wardrobe area. So we've got one on each side of the TV. That's the mats for the cab area up front. Underneath we get five drawers here. One of them's a little, you know, small one here, but all these drawers have the soft close feature. And then this one is for your video components. So if you are gonna use that, uh, 
that dish antenna or satellite, probably put your dish box in here, a DVD player, whatever. Uh, it seems like streaming services are becoming the wave of the future, so that's what most people are using now. Over on this side, we've got another wardrobe area. Okay, we step back into the main bathroom. First of all, we do have an egress door. And uh, if there is an emergency and you have to bail out, you pull this tab off and a ladder drops down right there. But it gives you an easier way than going out through the bedroom window if you have to get out because of an emergency. Right here beside the toilet, we have our Splendid stackable washer and dryer. Here's our sink and vanity area. We do get some more storage underneath here. And again, everything's got the soft close feature. Over here beside it, we get a little extra uh, wardrobe area too. And we also have four more pull-out drawers here. And then our radius shower. So if there's one drawback to the to the 4051 or the shorter Superstar, it's the size of the shower. Now for somebody like me, it's not a problem. I'm I'm not all that tall, about 5'8". Uh, I have plenty of room in here. I like having the teak seat. Maybe you just feel awful in the morning and you want to run hot water over you while you sit down. Perfect spot right here. I can see where if you're a larger person, this might get a little bit tight, but there's still ample room in here. Uh, this does have the aquamizer system. Uh, that kind of helps you conserve your fresh water. It recirculates it back into the fresh water tank while it's heating up. Once it's uh, hot enough, this light comes on, you flip your valve, take your shower. That's when you're filling up your gray tank using the fresh water. So uh, Aquamizer is a good name for it. And I actually like the, having the conditioner and shampoo up there. You don't have to worry about leaving bottles in your uh, shower. Okay. Let me see. I think that's about it. One thing that you do notice, there's no step up into the into the bathroom here like you get on your Class A's. Of course, that's because this is a front engine, so it's got a different uh, different chassis. But, you know, great, uh, great ease getting into the bathroom. Another thing I do like to point out is our air conditioning ducts are covered by a decorative ceiling. And uh, they run them, well, yeah, I guess you've got a few of them right here in the middle that you can see. But these vents are run right down the middle of the coach. So if you're traveling in real hot weather and you want to turn your air conditioning uh, on and maybe you got somebody back here laying on the bed, it blows right down in the middle. It's not blowing over your slide outs. And they do a nice job putting a decorative cover on that ceiling. Well, I think that's just about it. Again, this is a 2023 uh, Supreme Air. The 2024s are arriving, so obviously we're motivated on this one. If you have questions or you want to set up time to come look at it, please reach out to me. I think they're showing my contact information on the screen. Again, I'm Mark Love. You can call or text me at 970-631-0083. Let me know if there's uh, anything I can do to help. Once again, travel safe. Happy trails, my friends. We'll see you next time.